Can you put our hands together and welcome Fancy Fingers! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> 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 we can do that again. We can let's uh, try. Let's go. 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 Try that again. I, I can't do it. I can't do it. I, can't do it. <laughs> I know. I, like, do it. I should have gotten it. Maybe can it win? I know, right? I'm gonna say, dear. But welcome yes. to the show. It is so Thank good to you. see you. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Yeah, the show Thank is amazing. I love it. You love so, it. Thank yeah, you. So far, yeah. We appreciate that. We appreciate Thank that you. too much. But um, I want to talk about uh, you. You being a dad, yes. like I think you're like one of the most proud dads we have in Kenya right now. Is it? You are. <laughs> for real, I'm not even kidding. Like you are so proud to be a dad. Yes, yes, yes. yes. How is being a dad treating you so far? You know, being married and being a dad. <laughs> yeah. And that. I mean, I've, I've, I've loved every second of it, to be honest. Mm. It's life changing. Right. Um, yeah. And it just happened at the right time also. Because mm. uh, I always say like it happened during um, COVID, the mm. famous COVID, when you're all on <laughs> lockdown. Yeah. Everyone was just you know, a lot of time. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of time. Exactly. Activities, eh? You know, you know. But okay, we consumed pre-COVID, but I mean, we had our son during COVID, and uh -huh. the reason I'm saying that is because we had so much time to spend together. Because usually, I'm always on the road. That's true. Yeah, and I That's was just true. forced to be present. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I loved that it happened the way it did because right. I've learned so much. Yeah. Now, before we move away from that question, just yeah, one thing: yeah. what makes a good dad? What okay. makes a good dad? Mm. Uh, a dad that gives time to their kids right. more than anything, because mm. with kids they don't care about you know, uh, you know, like spending money on them or you know, like just buying them stuff. It's just spending time with them. They won't even remember that when they won't go remember. Out. They just yeah. remember I was with daddy doing this. So that's <laughs> right? the most important thing. Yeah. And what is the most fulfilling thing? Last one on that. I'll, I'll, <laughs> for, like for you personally. Yeah, for me would be just seeing the growth of a human being. Mm. Like it's so special. It's mm -hmm. so beautiful mm. to see just how he grows into things and every moment is like a, a win for him and even for us you know right? just seeing him doing things yeah that's so true and they spend yeah. time with my niece and they're literally sponges they absorb really, yeah, everything. yeah everything everything they learn from you yeah yeah exactly yeah i usually just come to realize that kids are not born bad they learn oh yes 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 yes, yes yes i always say like kids yeah. below four five years yeah are not even human beings they're like they're, they're spiritual in right? like fully fully spiritual yeah, yeah. they are yeah. they really are but um shout out to you for coming through let's talk about your Thank you now you are part of Saudi soul yes and you shared a tbt photo two oh, yeah. seven. <laughs> oh gosh that was your first gig that paid you good money and by good money i mean 12k yeah and it was per person <laughs> You know? Oh, good memories. So, looking back then yeah. and right now, did you ever think like you guys as a group would come this far, as far as you have come right um, now? Yes, we did. We did know we were gonna go far because you had a vision. Yeah, we had a vision. We just didn't know where that would be. You know, you work, you work towards getting to a certain place, mm. but you don't necessarily know where. Mm. So yes, we did know we had the talent, we had um, you know God's favor and all these things, and we knew we were gonna achieve what we've achieved, mm. or we we're gonna achieve some things. Right. Yeah. So once you get to achieving these things, then you realize, oh, mm. so this is what what it is. You know. Exactly. Yeah, now, yeah. what can you say as a band is the glue that has held you guys together for so long because a lot of people just come and go yeah. so many bands they form within two years there are no more a lot of like you know <sighs> yeah. issues how have yeah. you guys stayed together for so long and mm. you know still working still touring yeah right still very good friends mm -hmm. um i'd say first of all i believe a lot in destiny and i believe we we're destined to just be together as the four of us mm. um and what has kept us you know this together for this long is literally love mm. and respect for each other. Mm. Yeah, so we respect each other 100%. We we are each other's best friends, you know. <laughs> and that is so true. And but yeah. the, the reason why I'm saying it's true is because you defend each other yeah. so much. Like if, if one of you is facing backlash even on social media, yeah. like the whole gang will just like stand up for them. Yeah. Yeah. Like, even physically, yeah. don't mess right. with us. Oh, even, <laughs> physically. even physically. You remember? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where is that? <laughs> <laughs> <You remember? laughs> right? There's a guy who 
uh, who are assaulted Chimano. You guys yes, did not even hesitate. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, yeah, that's, yeah. I think brotherhood also is, is so deep, you know, well, once, mm -hmm. you, once you have it, and it's just the best thing ever, man. So you protect your brothers, man. Mm -hmm. Bros always. I'm telling you, <laughs> what has been the most difficult part mm. of going solo, especially for you? Now, we, we've seen yeah. everyone has their own solo project. Yeah. Uh, BM has been doing uh, well. Savara had, had his own album as well. So did Chimano. That Friday feeling mm -hmm. was a vibe. Yeah. And then there's you also, yeah. who's just been, you had a first album. Yes. You are working currently on your second album. Yeah. What is the hardest thing about that uh, everything about it to be honest <laughs> uh, I won't say hard I'd say challenging mm. and a welcome challenge as well because mm. as I said we're used to doing things together and being in a band everyone has a role mm. so you know that if you're in a photo shoot mm -hmm. Chimano will do the most and it will cover for everyone else. <laughs> you know, if you're doing this, so everyone, you, like, just, we just got a role. When it comes to, let's say, production music, everyone knows, okay, Polycap's got it. It's fine. You know, interviews sometimes, depending on the interview, someone would uh, speak more than the other and you're like, yeah, it's cool. You know, you got, you got yourself covered. Yeah. But now when you're by yourself, you have to really show up mm. for yourself. Yeah. You have more to than cover ever. all the areas. Yeah, you yeah know? exactly. Yeah. Right? Which, is, which is not... You know, something that we're used to, I'd say. All of us, all like, four of us. I'm, for the longest time, and I think I'm not even the only one. Yeah. Uh, be, okay, I turn on the you know, Lazizi and yeah. the, the blue uniform. Yeah. But uh, like, uh, later on, when you guys were still working, like, um, I actually thought you were just like the guitarist. Yeah. And people would think like, you don't sing. Like, people yeah. would say, oh, he's, the, he's, he's part of So Which Is All, but he's the guy who plays the guitar. Did, yeah. And then now, he comes to sing and goes, like, oh, so everyone <laughs> can actually sing. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Not, so now I think it's just that time you demystify all that. Like, yeah. And the thing is also, I think what people need to know about bands is, mm -hmm. like, as I said, everyone has, has a big, big role. role in the band. Yeah. Um, and it doesn't have to be that each one of you has to be at the front, you know. Mm -hmm. Especially us, we are, we are a, a musical band. We are not, a, what's the other word? Mm -hmm. We're not a group. We are not like an in sync, for example, where everyone is at the front singing and dancing and, you know, doing all those moves. <laughs> like, we play live. Yeah. That's how we started music. Yeah. Um, yeah, so my job is literally behind the music mm -hmm. and I love it so much being there. Comfortable. <laughs> yeah. It's, 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 zone. <laughs> is it really? It's not even, there's so much work to do. Actually, I think probably I have a, a lot a of lot work more. always. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it's it's something that I, I also, I, I like that people have seen mm -hmm. what it actually means and entails to be someone like that in the band, mm -hmm. you know, and also empowers other musicians mm -hmm. to also, you know, have such kind of role that's very, also very strong within a band. Right. Yeah. And he, for those who don't know, he's literally like a man, there's, 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 I think there's a magazine which did like um, <coughs> top 10 best guitarists in Kenya. Yeah. You're actually part of that. Yeah. So how long did it take you to get that good? Did you start in high school? Is it something you learned later on in Life. Yeah. yeah. First of all, I'm not there yet. I'm still <laughs> working every day. Like with the good thing with guitar is there's no end to it. So you're always learning every day. Um, but yeah, I started actually properly after high school. Mm. Uh, that's 2006. Right. So after high school. But then I, always, I was always into music. So I used mm. to play um, uh, a bit of keyboards just by ear, actually, when I was younger. Yeah. Um, then I just changed to guitar because I had this very strong attraction to playing the guitar from ah. high school. Yeah, and then I never looked back since then. Look at that. Yeah. But I think like that's what... A lot of artists still borrow that. Like yeah. as a vocalist, you, you yeah. can be a vocalist and still play uh, different uh, music instruments. Yeah. That just makes it so much easier. Oh, yeah, it does, it does. I always actually always tell any singer mm. to pick up an instrument because it will take them to another level. It will right. make their writing, mm -hmm. you know, so much better and everything else that comes with the music. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And you said you're a <coughs> Grammy winner. And what? <laughs> a Grammy winner? Oh, yeah. And yes. <laughs> <laughs> an Academy Proudly. member. You know when you say yes. Academy, I'm thinking the uh, Academy. Oh, yeah. And I'm thinking the Grammy. I'm like, okay. Uh -huh. When did I miss that? <laughs> <laughs> so, can you yeah. tell us, for those of us who are like, okay, you know, we, we've just been saying, like, when I say my whole Angelique Kijo, CG mm. Wano Bond, or me win Grammys, I'm like, yeah. I have they win a, a Grammy. Yeah. But I want to go with that. I 
argument. <laughs> I don't even support it so kindly. <laughs> yeah, so yes, I am a Grammy winner. I uh, was part of the production for the song, our song with Banner Boy, oh. Song Flies. That's um, why. Yeah, so the good thing with Grammy is if a song wins a Grammy, everybody in the song oh. gets a Grammy. Yeah. And the song with Banner Boy, actually, there's a very nice story to it because mm -hmm. it was meant to be now our, our album, Midnight Train. It was meant to be Midnight Train. Yeah. And we recorded it like two years before we released Minute Train. So we sent it to him, not for clearance. You know, once you're about to, you know, deliver your album, you have to call everyone that's in there, be like, okay, we are delivering this. We need your, your details for publishing and everything. And their team were like, uh, because we gave you African Star, mm -hmm. we want this one on our album because ah. we love it so much. You're like, okay, fine. It's okay. And thank God you didn't turn it down. Uh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I mean, we are friends also. So <laughs> right? He, yeah, yeah. He gave us African <laughs> Star for our album, so we we're uh -huh. like, okay, yeah, it does. It makes sense actually. And now you're yeah. Grammy winners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By yeah. association. The association, yeah. Which is cool. Yeah, yeah. No people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> always, always, always. No people. Yeah. But you're doing something so amazing that I'm yeah. literally loving so much because yeah. you see a lot of female artists they do not some of them don't get the support that they need yes. but you've taken um you've, you've taken that up to you uh, like you've taken that for yourself mm. to be able to just like support the female artists in yeah. africa not just kenya but in africa yeah. for the project you're currently working on your album yeah you featured you it's an all all female feature yes it's not it featured is. male artists right? not at all no. right so tell us about that why did you choose to work with so uh, many different artists that are just yeah. Yeah. Basically, women, did you just want to support the women? Yeah. Is this something you've thought about for a long time? Yeah. Or how did that come about? Um, so, correction, actually, I, I don't see me myself as supporting them. They're actually also supporting me. So, it's <laughs> like, a, each yeah, other. We, are, we are here you know, for each other. <laughs> yeah. But the whole idea for it was because it's a very male dominated industry. It is. Uh, entertainment it is. as a whole, mm. uh, anywhere in the world. Mm. And I feel like, yeah, female artists really go through it mm. a lot, a they lot. Do. Like, it's they it's do, they crazy. Do, they do. Yeah. And it's just came up with the idea actually I just started doing songs I think one of the first songs actually with Karun um, one in a million yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I just uh, had a list in my head. I still have a list still, uh, mm -hmm. but I think the project is 90% complete. Right. So I just got as the artists that I could across the continent. So mm -hmm. there's, of course, there's like three Kenyans, I believe. Uh. Um, there's a Ugandan in there that's uh, Azawi. There's a Zambian artist, there's a Zimbabwe, and there's a South African. South African. There's Actually, the latest one Nigerian. is South African, yeah? Yes, the latest one with Simi is South African. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's just also to just, you know, put, as you say, put them on the map but also they also put me on for the you map on the and map. collaboration is, is always exactly. always yields really good results yeah. yeah has anyone turned you down yet like have you had turned these down, artists in mind really. did you turn them like ah, <laughs> sounds like a good <laughs> idea <but> I'll pass <laughs> <laughs> that, right they're levels they're like, excuse yeah. me they're levels they're levels fancy fingers yeah. that would <laughs> sign me up when when, when? <laughs> <laughs> alright so for the case like with Simi uh, she's in the say you're best in Kenya yeah. do you do you link up in SA or did she record her part? You record your part. Yeah, then, like, so with Simi, actually, I was in SA in February. I just went for like a, a camp, a writing camp yeah, to collaborate actually with different artists there, mm. producers. So we just became friends, started, you know, vibing on other music and stuff. And then now I was like, actually, it should be good. I just made the song myself first. Mm. So I make, mu I make the music first and then I think who would fit in here. Oh, so yeah. I was like, oh, Simi would be perfect for this. I sent to her, she was excited, like, yeah, this is Amazing. my vibe. Yeah. So how long has it been in the making, the album? The album since January. Oh, this year? Yeah, actually, no, it's not January. Last year, because I did this, I recorded her in November. She was the first one, so from November last year. Mm. So almost one year. My plan was to release, is, release it during Valentine's this year. Yeah. But yeah, it was just... Time, work, yeah, you know know how it is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 busy. Yes, we have. Okay. Very, Selling very. Selling our shows and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Like, having sold our shows, I would say Kenya. Yeah. And I'm not talking about Uganda, <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> Where? That well, that's a blessing, to be honest. It is. It's a blessing. Not, yeah. not many people do it. Even no, even yeah. all the like people that you consider really big mm. do not sell out um, exactly. concerts. Exactly. You know, so wh tours. what is the what is the biggest stage you wish you would perform at so far? Because you performed almost everywhere. The, what is the, that one stage that when you get there you'll be like, you know what? Now even if it dissolves out is completely. Uh, we are good. We did it. What's the biggest stage? I don't know. Um, I guess I'd say the big festivals like Glastonbury, you know, mm. uh, the really big ones, but. 
to be honest, my favorite gigs to perform at, I know you haven't asked me this, but I'm just gonna say yeah. it. Anyway. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Why not, right? Is in the continent, uh, in the African continent. Mm -hmm. Because there's so much, first of all, they understand your music so much better, of course. Yeah. And there's just so much love, you know, uh, and you're very similar as well and it's across genuine. the continent. And it's genuine, you yeah. know, and they fill, fill up the places. Mm -hmm. So I'd say in Africa is my in best. In Africa. But with a big show, I don't know, I haven't really thought about it, to be honest. Right. But any big festival I, is welcome. <laughs> so, wh what is the craziest thing fans have done for you guys? We've seen Drake now has a whole collection. Yes. Oh, Drake. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> he has a collection. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah. Um, what about you? What is the craziest thing? I don't know if I can say this is on TV. <laughs> oh, <but laughs> PG, PG, PG. <laughs> um, I mean, there have been bras thrown on stage. Right? Sure. Uh, yeah, quite a couple. Mm -hmm. uh, craziest on stage or like just in general? In general. In general, in general, in general yeah. 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 On stage will be limited, yeah. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I mean, stalkers all the time. Uh, that happens a lot. Yeah. Up until now. Um, yeah, it's not so crazy. I mean, it's just those small, small things. I wouldn't say like yeah. crazy, like overboard, like oh my yeah. goodness, yeah. So it's things cool. like those, it's yeah. Cool. Not borderline, yeah. is it? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Not borderline, exactly. Right, all right. As we wind up yes. now, love language is the name of the album. You said it's yeah. ninety percent done. Yeah. Um, I guess like it comes with its own fair share of challenges. Have oh yeah. You experienced any of that? Uh, with this, uh, what are my challenges? Let me see. Um, you know, different energies, different. People. Yeah, yeah. So so with yeah. collaboration, especially a, a collaborative album, mm -hmm. as you say, yes, that's a good point. Different energies, mm -hmm. and also trying to get, um, let's say, visuals done. For instance, you know, yeah. um, everybody's in a different country, so either ha I have to go there or fly them here, you know, or even try and make time with our schedules. I have been crazy busy this year. <laughs> Another challenge is finishing it because, yeah, I just had so much on my plate yeah. um, the whole year. So it's just always um, me trying to, you know, try and work things out. Then I have to. Go back again. It's just I'm, it, it never it's ends. Yeah, it's like I need this to end because it's just too much. You have you know? so there's a group. You guys have yeah. projects. Yeah, and then there's a, your own personal project. Yeah, and then there's now you being a full-time dad. Exactly. Yeah, and a husband. Yeah, and a son. Yeah, it's a lot. And a sister, brother, it's, it's and a, a lot. friend. <laughs> Funny enough, today. The only one of you. Yeah, today at the rehearsal. Yeah, I was like, because I, I just moved house yesterday, and it's it's hectic, and it's in the middle of crazy rehearsals. Yeah. And I just sat down in Savannah and told him everything. He's like, what? I told him I had to take my son to another school today. All those things happened in the morning. He's like, hey, bro, <laughs> you are a man. <laughs> like, this is a responsibility on another right. level. Yeah, but I embrace it. I love it. Yeah. It, yeah. You know, it's actually, it's actually what makes you. I feel like if yeah. they took all that away, you're going to be like, oh, yeah, when you yeah. have enough time, you're going to go, okay, some too fine. Yeah. 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 Like, you wish to be yeah. off. Oh, yeah. And then you're off in Africa. So Kabisa. Kabisa. They say the feeling of going off is what it, it is. Yani, yeah. The day before, yeah. and you look know, to it. But that day, you're just that chill. Day you're like, yeah, okay. just chill. Yeah, that's but that true. night, I'm <laughs> excited, man. <by. laughs> that's true. Yeah. All that's right, very all true. Right. Yeah. Course, thank you so much for coming through. Um, yeah. Do you have any parting shot for your fans? The guys just. Uh, parting shot. I don't know. Uh, thank you so much, actually, for all the love you've shown me and us for the past, it's been what, 15 years. Follow me on social media, Fancy Fingers across all platforms. That's this, sir. That's this, sir. Thank yeah. you so much for making that. Yeah.